Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So today, we're back for some more Terraria meme review. And I've been very excited to record this one because if you guys didn't know, Terraria Reddit only allows memes on the weekend, which makes a lot of sense. The Reddit gets filled up pretty quickly. The moderators don't want to sort through it, so they changed it to the weekend. But 1.4 also came out on the weekend. So we had the biggest update with some of the best memers just mashed together and I've been so looking forward to recording this. But before I do, a lot of people asked if I could do my classic intro for 700,000 subscribers. I'm going to do it, boys. But make sure to turn down the audio a little bit. If you've never seen my classic intro, it's very loud. Famously loud. So famous that it's now in Terraria. So here it goes. Here's a tutorial. You move your awfully squeaky microphone close to the mouth. Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. There you go, how was that? Was that alright? Okay, on with the memes. Oh, and before we continue, a portion of this video will be sponsored by Ridge Wallet, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, this first one isn't a meme, but it's something I agree with. Petition to allow golf balls through portals. Yeah, this needs to happen. I mean, golf is already like... Something that I know not a lot of people are going to use. Like, they probably put a lot of work in for, like, a very small portion of people. But if we could get a little bit more work so that we can do mad stuff like this, it would be amazing. I don't think any golfing game out there uses portals. Portals are kind of like, do you know like when the mini golf ball, like, goes into the tunnel, right? When you're at, like, one of those, like, wacky courses. And it goes through the tunnel, and you're like, wow, and it pops out the other side. I want that, but with portals. Yeah, this would be cool. I'd, I'd really like this. I don't know if any projectiles can go through portals, so I don't think it'll happen, but it would be cool. Just found out the day it was removed. Devs removing bad torch look. Me, who didn't even know it existed. Yeah, I did the similar thing where I found out about it, and I was, like, reading all about it because people were angry about it, and I was trying to do my research and, like, get clued in so that I didn't say anything stupid, and then I go to Twitter, and I look, and it's like, oh, we removed bad torch look. So it's gone. I'm this person right here with my torch. What it feels like in underground sand biome. <laughs> That's really cool. I've only just clocked that it says sand instead of doom. This is awesome. Kind of reminds me of like when Animal Crossing came out the same weekend as doom. And we got all those amazing crossovers. Terraria is finally getting its time. I hate what I have created. Okay, it's not loading. I'm just going to click on it. All right, it's Ricardo. <laughs> and now it's Handsome Moon Lord. That is, <laughs> that is a pose, isn't it? Mm, <laughs> that is interesting. I'm going to watch that one more time. Boom. It's gorgeous. I'd seen, the, I'd seen the handsome Moon Lord head. Courtney came to me the other day and was like, oh, I just got recommended this tweet. And it looks like handsome Squidward. Is that the Moon Lord? She don't play Terraria. Yeah, it, it is. I don't like how his mouth looks. <laughs> He's got a sideways mouth. It looks even worse with lips. Before we continue with the memes, today's video is very proudly sponsored by Ridge Wallet. So if you guys didn't know, Ridge is a manufacturer of these very sleek and genuinely very stylish wallets. They come in over 30 different styles and the one I've gone for here is the Gun Metal Titanium. What's cool about Ridge is that they allow you to hold up to 12 different cards. That's way more than I would ever need, but I like that when you max it out, it's still pretty slim. And then on the back, you have a money clip. So Ridge believe so strongly about the quality of their products that you actually have a lifetime guarantee with every purchase. There are no wallets out there that do that. That's really rare. And they have over 30,000 five-star reviews on their website. So I grew up using this wallet. It's a proper dad style one. And I always found it to just be really bulky in this modern age where trousers fit a little bit slimmer than they used to do. This thing is massive. That's why I'm glad I've got Ridge. So I genuinely think these are fantastic. And I'm going to order my dad one for Father's Day. So if you want to get a hold of a Ridge wallet, you can go to ridge.com slash chippy or just use code chippy. Save 10% off. They have free worldwide shipping and handling. And you can't get any better than that. So go check them out. They proudly sponsor this channel. And I'm so grateful to have Ridge because to get a sponsorship as a Terraria channel, is really hard and it's a product that I actually really like. All right, on with the memes. Top down Terraria by ref underscore SQ. So this isn't a meme, but I have seen it before. 
I think it's amazing. Like, when I see Terraria in this art style, all I really want is a Terraria RPG. And I don't know what that would be, considering Terraria's lore is already a little bit weird now that we have Party Girl Bathwater. But this is really cool. I wanted to highlight this because it's so unique. I've never seen anybody do this before, and I really like it. I just want a Terraria RPG now. What would that be? Magic mirror sounds. Hey, what do you want? <laughs> Where the f is my child support? And he's out of there. Tried to post this yesterday, but forgot about the weekend rule. Yeah, don't forget about the weekend rule. It will be removed. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the weekend rule. Wiki editors right now. Impending doom approaches. Yeah, big up to all the Wikipedia editors. I've spoken about this before, but there's a thousand new items in Terraria 1.4. But then they've also like changed a bunch. So a thousand becomes two thousand. And then you've got to go, well, PC's over here and consoles over here and 3DS. I don't know what this abomination is, but this is over here as well. Yeah, wiki edit is well done. I have been helping out. A lot of my changes have stuck around, which is always a good sign. Because when you change the wiki, it's a gamble. It is. You you add a little line here and there. You never know if it's gonna stick around. But some of the stuff has stuck around, and I'm very proud of that. I tell you what I edited, but I'm afraid that you'd be able to, like, track me down and see, like, oh, he added, he added a few weird lines about the party girl. What's that about? It's just my favorite. Handsome Moon Lord. This, this is the image that Courtney saw. He's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. But those lips. <laughs> I don't know about these lips. If it had normal lips, I could understand it. We are all doomed. Okay, let's see the spoiler. <laughs> this is good. This is from my video, right? This is from the, the journey mode reveal video. What's so funny about that is that obviously the balloon slime like came on screen and I'm here trying to be professional, tell everybody about journey mode because I knew a lot of people would watch it. I didn't want to comment on the balloon slime. So everyone was like, why did you not talk about that? I was nervous. I was trying to be professional. Yeah, these things are, uh, these things are great. Just started 1.4, so glad they added free gold chests on the ground. Wow, I like it. Yeah, you should you should open that. You should see what's inside real good. I decided to make my yo-yo master character look like Gandalf Rave Guy. <laughs> There's a Gandalf Rave Guy? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at him go. Wow. Mate, I love Gandalf. <laughs> I love him even more. I didn't even look at the vanity. Oh, look at you. Look at you go. I wish we had, like, like we have the last prism, and we have that new bow from the Empress of Light. I wish we had some rainbow yo-yos. Like, for real. Like, ones that you get. I mean, we have the Terrarian, but I would like a rainbow Terrarian. And this is, like, a really good example of why. So if anybody could make a mod or a texture pack, this needs to be done. Every Terraria content mod be like... This is going to be juicy. This is going to be... All right. The desert early pre-hard mode boss. Okay, that is a given. Any mod pack, you got to have an early desert boss. you got the desert scourge. you got the thunderbird. You've got the... I can't remember what this one's called, but I know what he's from. The final Frostbark boots upgrade that should be official. This actually happened, right? Like, they did an extra boot upgrade. I agree with this. Like, in Terraria, we had so many boots, only two feet, and we didn't have any way to combine them to their full potential. So I'm glad this happened. Thank you, modders, for that one. The Ultimate Omega Ultra... <laughs> the Super Long Sword. 9999999 damage. It wouldn't be a mod unless you can stick a million damage in the title. You guys know this if you watch Chippy's Couch. Yep, I agree with this. Abstract and ugly sprites. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. I don't mind a, a modded sprite. A lot of people don't like how modded sprites don't look like vanilla Terraria. I like that. I'm just one of those people. Pointless and edgy lore. Yeah, I, I don't care for lore in any mod. I don't even care for lore in Terraria. I, I, I'm just not a lore kind of guy. I guess it is a little edgy. <laughs> but that's all right. That's okay. My first master mode goblin army in a nutshell. All right, let's see how it goes, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have tried master mode goblin army, but it's very hard. It's like a lot harder than it used to be. And the thing is, you like, the thing about goblin armies is you die and you respawn 
and they're still there and they pierce and you, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, this is going to be the end of a lot of hardcore runs. I know it. Yeah, this is a good representation. I like this. My Corsair keyboard right before the Moon Lord spawns. So I can't get my Corsair keyboard to work. Like, mine lights up rainbow, but when I'm playing Terraria, it does nothing. I actually want to see this. I am actually really curious. That is really cool. Oh my god. Look at that. Do you guys get it? It's an eyeball. It's, it's an eyeball. That is so sick. Oh my god. That is really cool. Does it do it again? Or is it just the once? Oh, it does it again! I love that. Yeah, that's wicked. That is, that is actually really cool. Who thought of that? Who, who was like, oh, we'll just add an eyeball? I'm mesmerized by that. That is probably the cool... Like, I've got a lot of, like... I've got a few Razor things. Half of them are broken. Now I want my keyboard to work, because that is dead cool. Gave the zoologist her own home. All right. Hey, it's got a couch. All right, I've got to click play on this one. <laughs> that took me a minute to get. That's good, that. So if you guys haven't seen, she's uh, triggering the deaths of all these animals. That's not what the zoologist likes. I thought a lot of people have mixed feelings about the zoologist. I personally really like our werewolf friend. I thought he was just going to be some kind of death contraption for her. Funny how far Terraria has come in nine years. I'm guessing your time was worth it. Okay, this already sounds like pretty wholesome. I am the developer of Terraria. Ask me anything. Ooh, okay. Do you think you will make or lose money on this? Wow. Well, the only money I spent so far was to pay my composer for the game's music. Can we just say... What an investment that was, because Terraria has like one of the best soundtracks out there. I do spend a lot of time coding and adding content, and if time is money, I spend it all day long. Oh, I love that. Red, you legend. That is, that's poetic. It's poetic as well, knowing that like, I mean, how many copies of Terraria has been sold, right? Copies of Terraria sold. Over 30 million copies. It's mind-blowing. I created the Karen. <laughs> I love a good Karen. What do you mean, Reva Shark got nerfed? Let me speak to your manager. Yeah, a lot of people got fuming about this. Not really me. I, I don't know. I'm not somebody who really cares about Terraria balance changes. I think because... I trust Relogic when they go, all right, we're going to change this. But I know that probably down the line, there's going to be something else that's like to, to balance it all out. Like, for example, when they were like, oh, the, the Moon Lord laser is going to pass through blocks in 1.4. We didn't know that we'd have the Empress of Light who gives amazing flying accessories. Do you know what I mean? So it encourages you to go like flying. I don't know why I keep talking with my hands, but... So you like fly over the Moon Lord now instead of trying to like block it with a dirt block. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> I love Terraria Karen. I found something incredible sold by the traveling merchant. A fedora. Tips. Milady. Very nice. Pedwin's going to be very happy with this. Pedwin, uh, he loves fedoras. You can't run. Hey, Terrarian from Terraria. Hello, Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. Someone is watching us from a computer screen. I see him now. <laughs> yeah. They tried to add, like, sitting down on chairs where, like, the person looks forward. And it doesn't look right. Have you guys ever seen um, Simpsons facing forward? <laughs> it's the same kind of premise. Let me show you guys. Simpsons facing forward. You guys are going to love this, right? <laughs> it's so ugly. It's awful in it. <laughs> Nobody should have to. <laughs> oh, look at Marge. Ooh. Oh, God. Lenny. What did they do to you, Lenny? Oh, no. It is one of my favorite things, though. Animated 2D characters. To... <laughs> at this time of year, in this time of country. Yeah, th th this seems right to me. This seems more appropriate. This seems good. Look at Bob's Burgers, though. At least Bob Burgers do it right. All right. Here's one from the Chippy Gaming subreddit. I always neglect it. When I started it, it was meant to help the overflow on the Terraria subreddit. Because Terraria subreddit was getting spammed. 
and then they added the weekend rule, so it didn't really matter anymore. But I check this every day, so I can never really react. Do you know what I mean? Because I've already seen it all. But this one's pretty great. He attack. Everybody gangster till the traffic light gets a Finch staff. Yeah, this is this is great. I want to see more stuff with Finch staff on top of it. Can you guys find some for me? By the end of the year, for sure, Chippy's going to get 1 million subs within a couple of months. And that's a fact. Can you guys help me get there, though? Because it's quite hard. Believe me. I've been doing Terraria for nine years. I've had this channel for nine years. We're, we're, we're a bit off. Can you subscribe? Can you help? A lot of people feel embarrassed to ask, but look. Come here, guys. I got you covered, right? Do you need something to rally behind? Help a fella out. Please. Can you even see that? I don't know if it's going to be reversed on your side. Chippy to one million. It's never been done by a Terraria channel. Not even close. I mean, we're the closest to it ever happening and we're a way off. Can you do it? Can you be a fact? All right. So I think that's going to be the end of today's video. My camera is unfortunately dying. So I don't usually have a camera in videos. So you'll have to let me know if it's all right. If it changes the game up a little bit. I don't know. Would you prefer it without a camera? Let me know. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you did. And if you are new around here and you want to help me get to a million, uh, please consider subscribing. We talk about Terraria here. Plenty of it. So if you're into Terraria, you'll have a good time here. Right. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.